since we did not travel today because we had library, we're still gonna read a book about another place. And this is called The Tale of Babushka. And this is about Russia. Oh, we travel. Let's travel quick, right? Can I move it? Can I move it if I can? Yes, if you need to move, you can. I can't see it. Though. Babushka's house was always spick and span, for Babushka loved to sweep and scrub. She loved to dust and polish and make everything just so. Put your shirt on. AJ, have a seat. And Babushka's things were neat and tidy, for Bash Babushka loved to save and store, to stitch and sew, and fill her cupboard with lovely things so nimbly made. One wintry afternoon, one wintry afternoon as Babushka was in her kitchen, peeling and chopping, mixing and stirring, there came a knock at the door. What a bother, she said as she wiped her hands. And me in the middle of all this cooking? Dump it out. You need to come join us. When she opened the door, well, what a surprise. There were three tall travelers bowing low, their rich clothing glinting in the setting sun. Might you have room, they humbly asked, for us to stay this snowy night? For night is near and we've traveled far. Of course, come in, Dabushka said. And she tucked their boots by the chuckling fire and hung their hats and brushed their cloaks. She brought them bread and soup and cheese and cakes and figs and home-brewed ale. That's a I large like face. Shirt. Mine? Thank you. I like it too. But what's in here, Babushka asked as she lifted their bags to the attic door. <laughs> Gifts for a king, the traveler said. A king for whom a new star shines. The king of love, the prince of peace. That night, while all the house was sleeping, the snow clouds cleared and that same bright star shone. First the cat, then Babushka looked up to see the golden light. Look, that's the star, she told the cat. She told the dog, she told the mouse. The light that shines for the king of love, the light that shines for the prince of peace. And at once she wanted to give her gift, a gift from the heart, a gift of her hands, a gift of love. The next day came and soon the travelers were ready to set out on their way. I have gifts, said kind Babushka, for you to take to the king of love. You must come, they said. Come now with us. Leave cares aside and follow the king. Oh no, said Babushka, I, I'm not quite ready. I'll find your footsteps and I'll watch for the star. But first I must sweep and clean and tidy and wash and iron and brush and scrub and so much more. Does this kind of remind you of the story we read before? Yeah. No. Old Bafana. Yeah, Old Bafana. Old Bafana. As Babushka worked, the hours ticked by, a snow-swept day and frosty night. When she set out, she could find no footprints. In the darkening sky were the same old stars. Oh dear, she said, but I have my gifts and I do so want to see this king. Babushka set out with, without guide or starlight to find the child who was born to be king. But on the way, she saw so many children who would be pleased by a lovely gift. So she left a gift here and here and here and here. She still, still she is seeking, still she is giving, and all for the sake of the king of love. 
So, just like old Bafana, she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready to go see the king because she had to clean. So, Babushka had to clean and then she missed it. So now she's just giving gifts to all of the children. Mm -hmm. Run, 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 Run